So today we are announcing uh, a nine district consortium partnership with Code.org, which is going to bring professional development and uh, curriculum to students in grades K through 12, exposing them to computer science at an early age. Well, this is really exciting because it's a partnership of many uh, organizations, educational organizations from the Inland Empire coming together to teach kids how to code. We're extremely grateful for this partnership with Code.org and uh, which will allow our districts to engage in high quality professional development for teachers around computer science. Well, I'm showing him how to code <laughs> and um, the, how he can pass the levels with the blocks that, they, uh, that it gives him. We're coding and trying to get, we're doing the Star Wars, building a galaxy of code. So we're trying to get BB-8, the droid from the new movie, to touch all the scrap metal using code. And so they all were excited about the opportunity to come on board to build up this critical mass. But we'll be having the opportunity for teachers across districts to come together and collaborate and learn together about computer science. Uh, I'm signed in and I'm learning how to code Flappy Bird at the moment. Okay. So it sounds good and I'm on puzzle four of ten. This is just amazing. Having a wonderful feeling. It's, it's fantastic to have a ten-year-old showing me how to do computer science and coding today. So okay, I've so. written uh, four lines of code um, to move myself forward and turn right and I was successful um, up till this point. Obviously coding is about um, they have to think, they have to strategize and this will help them be more analytical. The statistics that were shared today, there are about a million unfulfilled jobs coming in 2024. We know our students, uh, we want to prepare them to be able to take those jobs uh, and this is going to give them those opportunities to, uh, to fulfill those jobs in the future. Brianna is really a, a great instructor and as we know with coding, young people are teaching people my age how to do it. So it's it's kind of reverse of what we've done in public education, having older people teach younger people. But I think part of what we need to learn in moving into this new age of education is that sometimes young people know more about what they're doing than older people. 